Right now I'm going to show you how to put together the buffer that you use with the rejuvenator. Let's start by taking all the parts out of the box. This is the easy part. This is garbage. This we want to save. This pad is garbage. The sanding discs are handy, but you're not going to need them for what we're doing. The instructions. The machine. The handle. The tool to tighten the shaft. Extra brushes. Two screws. And an Allen wrench. Okay, let me explain why I tossed these pads out. First of all, we're going to include in your kit this pad. This is the pad that you need to use. It's a cutting pad with a Velcro back, which will nicely fit this plate. All right, these pads are, I, this is supposed to be a waxing pad, bonnet or pad. Uh, it's absolutely useless for any application. I've never gotten to work. This is really cute too. You could save them for a hat or something if you want. Um, this is a foam pad. A lot of the newer finishes for cars and some of the rouges and stuff that are out there, you would use this. You could use this foam pad for. But unless you're getting technical, high end, and you're going to be detailing cars for a living, you're not going to need that pad. First thing we're going to do is put the handle on. It's very easy. It just slides in over the machine. You can hold it like that, and then get your screw started, right like that. Don't tighten this screw yet. Flip it over, line up the holes, insert the other screw, and get your thread to start. Okay, with your bolts loose, take the included Allen wrench and stick it right through this little hole in the handle, connect it, and now tighten. So to finalize the tightening on this bolt, we're going to take your Allen, stick it in this way, all right? This will give you more leverage so you can get a nice cinch on that. Get nice and tight. Repeat on the other side. Next, we'll install your backing plate. You have a shaft lock button located on the head of your machine. I like to turn the shaft until it locks. The button will go in. Take your backing plate. Insert it and then slowly twist. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Now that's tight. Let up on the button, make sure it's loose. And that's installed. Now we'll install our compounding pad. It is a hook and loop backing, so it's going to fit onto the plate nicely. This is for cutting. It will create heat, which is what we want. Uh, take a look at it, center it. Make sure she's on there good and centered. If you start up the machine and it wobbles, simply take it off and move it over a quarter of an inch or so or whatever it takes. When using the rejuvenator by a machine, it is designed to work with this type of machine that contains this pad. Okay, This pad is going to create the right amount of heat to activate the products in rejuvenator. A lot of people have questions about this. So if you have a question, go to our website, wademade.com, click on the Ask Wade button, and send me an email. I look forward to hearing from you.